Would you believe me if I said that kindness can slow aging at the genetic level? It's a big claim to make, isn't it? Well, well, think about it. Remember earlier in these 21 days, I explained how and why kindness, an experience of kindness, is physiologically the opposite from an experience of stress. Well, we know that stress is one of the major accelerators of aging. So if kindness is physiologically the opposite, then it would make sense that having experiences of kindness, we would be able to observe and measure reduced rate of aging. Well, that's exactly what researchers at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill found. So they, they, comp- they asked uh, volunteers for six weeks to do a daily practice of metta of the loving kindness meditation, they were compared against people doing no practice at all and people doing a standard mindfulness. So you had loving kindness, i.e. meta, versus mindfulness versus no nothing at all. And, and the way they measured aging is they measured length, the length and the rate of loss of little end caps on our DNA. And these end caps are called telomeres. They're akin to those plastic end caps on our shoelaces. You know those little plastic tips in the shoelace? They're called aglets. And they're there to, to ensure that we can poke the shoelace through the wee eyelet, the wee hole, and lace up your shoes. But as we all know, through wear and tear, our little aglets wear down and eventually get to a point where they've, they've fallen off and you can't. the shoelace is worthless. You can't poke it through the hole unless you go... And poke it into a wee circle and, and thread it through. Uh, something similar happens with our telomeres, which are the aglet equivalent uh, on, on DNA. Uh, through wear and tear, our telomeres wear down. And, and you can, in the length of a telomere and the rate of wear and tear, the rate of loss of them, uh, the rate of attrition, is, is a very, one of the most accurate ways of measuring biological age or the rate of aging. You know, we have two ages. You have your chronological age, that's the number of years you've been on this planet, and you have a biological age, which is the essentially the age of your body, and often there's a, there's a difference between the two. People who have a healthy lifestyle, for example, tend to have a biological age that's slightly less than their chronological age, and this is why, you know, like healthy lifestyle practices are, ex- are associated with, with increased lifespan and health span. So anyway, in this study, what they found is they measured the standard rate of loss of telomeres over the six-week period in those who didn't do the practice. And then they they looked at those who did mindfulness. There was a little bit of a slowing down, but there was a dramatic slowing down in rate of telomere loss in those who did the loving-kindness practice. Isn't that amazing? So in other words, compared with not doing any practice at all and even doing mindfulness, cultivating a a mindset of compassion and kindness through the loving kindness meditation, metta, may you be happy and well and safe, may you feel at ease, had a dramatic effect on the length of our telomeres, ultimately slowing down the rate of wear and tear, the rate of loss of these telomeres, ultimately impacting aging at the genetic level. Isn't that extraordinary? I mean, I can testify to this. I have been doing the practice for 109 years now. Obviously, obviously, I'm just kidding. But but I, I'm, I'm making the point that we this is a genetic and an impact of a, a sense, a feeling of compassion and kindness, an experience at the genetic level. Obviously, it doesn't mean you'll never age. But what it meant is, under those conditions, they had identified an impact at the genetic level. So that's extraordinary, isn't it? So so anyway, for today's practice, I'd like you to do something similar. To yesterday's practice. So yesterday I asked you for the practice to to do a walking meta practice. In other words, to as you go through your day, just say a line of meta as you see people, just whatever your intuition tells you, you know, may you be happy or may you feel at ease or, or whatever line of meta or the whole of meta when you see people in the street or in shops, at work, whatever. Today what I'd like you to do is just a slight build on that. Just do the same thing again, but from time to time, just acknowledge that as you do this, the body is becoming, your own body is becoming nourished as well. It's a wee bit like I've also explained nature's reward. You know, when we think kindly and compassionately for other people, nature rewards us as well as part of a feedback kind of, kind of loop. So our own body is nourished. So just consider that kindness is more than something you do, something you you think in this context. It's also something that nourishes our body and it's nature's way 
of, of making sure that we keep doing it and, and helping us all to, to stick together in this in the cosy quilt of humanity. So that's today's exercise, a walking meta, but just from time to time consider that as you think these kind thoughts about people, your own body is being nourished as well. And in this sense, right down to the genetic level, just consider that, that there's a, the, there's a genetic impact in terms of slower aging as you intend these kind thoughts towards people. Isn't that remarkable? So anyway, I'll see you right back here again tomorrow.